Welcome to your update on Tallahassee's local food movement. I'm Lindsay Smith. And I'm Will Smith. We wanted to get a closer look at the Tallahassee local foods movement by talking to those who participated. First, we spoke to Claire Mitchell, a volunteer at the Red Hills Small Farm Alliance. and we're trying to talk about what the farmers needed. And what they came up with was more education, more policy work in representing small farmers in the Florida government. And then the last thing that they came up with was the farmers in this area need more market, more profitable market. So the Red Hill Small Farm Alliance was formed. It consists of over 30 farms in a 100-mile radius of Tallahassee. The Red Hills online market has been functioning for over two years. Members of the Red Hills Small Farm Alliance can list products online to sell. The farmers pay a yearly fee to be vendors on the market, and then customers pay to be able to buy things online. So it's open from Sundays until Wednesdays at 6 a.m., and the farmers will upload their products, and it can be anything from vegetables, from a vegetable farm, or meat, or honey, or eggs, or bread. Then the shoppers can shop just like a normal e-marketplace where they would put things in their shopping cart and check out with a credit card. On Wednesdays, the farmers get a pick ticket of what they are supposed to harvest or get together to bring to the market on Thursday. The main pickup point is at Garden Roses Food Co-op. The customers come and pick up their order, and they can order from as many farms as they like. Sometimes their order will have products from up to five to six farms. So it's really convenient for the farmers because with normal farmers market, kind of have to guess to know how much you need to bring to market. If you bring too little, you'll sell out and won't make as much money. And if you bring too much, you will have produce left over. So you have to sit at the market for six hours or so. It's a full day of work. So at this market, the farmers can, everything that they bring is pre-ordered and pre-paid for. And they just drop it off at the pickup point and then their customers come pick it up. Next, we spoke to Jen Lamoro, a Tallahassee community member community-supported agriculture participant, and local food supporter. How did you become interested in local foods? Mostly through a food ethics class that I took. And then I'm also, I also have a lot of friends who are very into community and locally produced items. Which CSA are you a part of? Orchard Pond. Why did you choose that particular farm? They had their information available online, and they had a season available for me to buy into at the time that I was looking to start purchasing a share. What is your favorite part about Tallahassee Farmers Markets? They happen throughout the week. Almost any day of the week, you can find a farmer's market somewhere in town. There are several locations, so no matter what part of town you live in, you can usually find one that's pretty convenient to where you are. Uh, We do a pretty good job of having friendly people who are just nice to be around so that you don't mind just going to browse and hang out a little bit and see what's going on. Finally, we talked to Bob Williamson of Seriously Chocolate, Tallahassee's own locally sourced bean-to-bar chocolate producer. I was selling at the Lake Ella Markets with the Cottage Food Bill, which was a pretty neat thing that Commissioner Putnam, I think it had been in motion prior to him, he passed, what, two years ago now? So it's been a neat thing. It's almost like an incubator. Sustainably sourced ingredients. I also, because I'm getting cacao a thousand miles away in the Dominican, I kind of wanted to give it a local touch. I try to incorporate as many local ingredients from all the farmers. A lot of people that are on uh, Red Hills come using um, orchard pond strawberries and some of the truffles that I use. I use Master's Coffee from Thomasville in one of my bars along with some Chipotle. I'm lucky because I have an idea of who would be interested in this kind of product. And so I seek out avenues where people are already looking for stuff like that, very health conscious. The new leaf going to a growers only farmers market. You can find people that are very health conscious to begin with. They appreciate the fact that it's sustainably sourced, rainforest certified as well, the chocolate. So, I mean, it's, it's good stuff. We're not heroes or anything here, but we're making correct decisions, nice decisions that have a positive impact on other people. 
but it is hard sometimes to break into other markets. I have, I've had a lot of people say, that's a lot of money for a taco bar, and it genuinely is. You take a look at not only my economy of scale, but the quality of the ingredients and the story behind it. It can be a tough sell because at the end of the day, not everyone's going to buy a $5 chocolate bar. Thanks for listening to your Tallahassee Local Foods Update. We're your hosts, Lindsay Smith. And I'm Will Smith.